Good morning, and welcome to Awake in the Dawn. August 8th, the Shepherd and Guardian of Souls. He never sinned, nor ever deceived anyone. He did not retaliate when he was insulted, nor threaten revenge when he suffered. He left his case in the hands of God who always judges fairly. He personally carried our sins in his body on the cross so that we can be dead to sin and live for what is right. By his wounds, you are healed. Once you were like sheep who wandered away, but now you have turned to your shepherd, the guardian of your souls. 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 22 through 25. Humble and grateful. Those are the only two words to describe how I feel upon reading this passage. How could Christ, perfect and without sin, love one so imperfect, self-centered, and broken as me? And I am not alone, for without Christ, all of us find ourselves in hopeless darkness and trapped under the weight of sin. There is only one who is truly pure, holy, and able to resurrect the listless soul. He has brought light to the darkness and life where death once reigned. He is our shepherd, the guardian of our souls. Shepherding has a history of thousands of years of existence and still practiced today. They diligently care for the welfare of their flocks in multiple ways and committed to protecting and providing for their every need. The shepherd is the example chosen by God to illustrate his care for his people. Christ is the great shepherd and too the sacrificial lamb. He is the provisionary of heart and soul, the provisionary of all things pertaining to life and godliness. By personally carrying our sins to the cross, Christ has healed our spiritual wounds restored our relationship with our Heavenly Father, and freed us from the sting of sin and death. He is worthy of all praise and honor and glory and power today and forevermore. Lord, you are my shepherd. You faithfully and carefully watch over me. I am grateful for my freedom and healing that I've received through you, and I know that you are a faithful and caring Father. Amen. Give us today the food we need. I want to thank you again for joining me this morning for Awake in the Dawn. Please, I encourage you to go to awakenthedawn.com, take a look at the ministry tools that we have available for you.